Welcome to the demo video of our pricing calculator spreadsheet. Today we're going to have a better look at our pricing calculator spreadsheet, including what tabs it includes, the functions of the spreadsheet, and how to set it up. So the pricing calculator spreadsheet has four different tabs. First, you'll have a README tab, where you'll find some instructions and are linked to our instruction guide and our help desk. Then you will have the actual calculator, which we'll come back to a little bit later. You'll then have a multi-product pricing calculator tab. This is for those that have very easy material, labor costs, or other costs. But it's also a place where you can store all the prices that you calculated with the single product calculator. And lastly, the materials tab. Now, before we head to any of the other tabs and how any of the other tabs work, we're going to start with the materials tab. The materials tab was designed so you can make a log of all your materials, easily calculate the price per unit, and then use it in your single product calculator. For example, let's say you create soap. You use glycerin, shea butter, you might use some glitter or essential oil. You can then type in the price you paid for each single material. For example, let's say you paid $10 for glycerin, $10 for shea butter, you paid $5 for glitter, and you paid $10 for some lemon essential oil. Now the next thing you have to do is to type in the unit. The unit can be anything. For glitter you might be able to use grams again because it might be easier to measure. And for lemon essential oil you might use milliliters. Now all you have to do is type in how many units your purchase was. So let's say it was one kilogram of glycerin, which is thousand units of grams which will make the price per unit one cent let's say you paid ten dollars worth of shea butter but it was four ounces now the price per unit will be two and a half the glitter was let's say you bought 500 or you bought 100 grams it will be five cents per gram and lastly let's say your lemon essential oil was 100 milliliters of essential oil this will make it 10 cents for every milliliter that you use now, you can add as many materials that you need and the price per unit will be calculated for you. Now, let's say you have a material, but you might use it as gram or ounces or maybe even as pounds. Now, what you can do is add that material multiple times. For example, you can add a shea butter in ounces. You can add a shea butter in grams and a shea butter in pounds. This will allow you to calculate the price per unit based on the unit that you set your soap. Now, if you're making a small batch or a big batch, you can pick the material with the type of unit that works best for you. Now that we've added some of the materials here, let's head over to the single product tab. The single product tab is where you can actually calculate the price of the product. Now we recommend starting in the overview section as this is where you can change your currency. So let's say for example, live in Europe and you use Euro. You can add an item name. So let's say we're creating soap. You can add a SKU number. So let's say for your first product you're creating it is one. Now you can also change the quantity here. This is mainly beneficial for those who create in batch. So let's say that when you're making soap bars, you make 20 soap bars at a time. You don't have to calculate how many amounts of units you're using per soap bar. Instead, you just add what you use for that batch, how long it took you to create that or any other cost and then just type in a quantity of 20 down below. You can change this at any point in time. Now you can enter your desired profit margin. So let's say for example you would like a profit margin of 50%. Then you also have the option to add a discount and possibly any sale tax. But we can come back to that later and you can always adjust that later. Now all you have to do is add your materials, your labor costs, and any other costs you made while making this product, and the rest will update automatically for you. So let's say for example, we made some soap, and we use some glycerin, we use some shea butter, and we use some glitter. So let's say we use 50 grams of glycerin, we used a quarter of an ounce, and we used three grams of glitter. As you can see now, the material cost has already been updated here. Now the next section we go to is our labor costs. So let's say we took some time to create the soap, also to package the soap, and we charged ourselves an hourly rate of 15 euros per hour. Now all you have to do is type in the minutes of how long it took you to create that soap. So let's say it took us five minutes, for example, and it took us another two minutes to package. You will now see that the labor cost automatically has been updated up top here. 
Now, if you have any other costs such as packaging, or perhaps you use a thank you card that you send to the customer, a business card, and perhaps even include some stickers. Now you just have to type in the cost for each item and how many you used. And then also this will automatically be calculated and added in the sales price and the pr price breakdown. Now that we've added all our costs, we can play around with the price a little bit. You can now add your sale tax if you like to see how much your sales price would be including the sales tax. You can add a discount to see how that would influence the price. And now in addition to seeing the price breakdown here, you will also have the option to look at some graphs. Now you'll easily be able to see what type of costs will take up how much percentage of the cost breakdown. So in this example, 32% of your cost was because of materials, 44% because of your labor and almost 24% of any of the other costs. Now let's say you want to charge a discount and you want to see how that influences your profit margin. Now, please note that the price breakdown is before tax. The sales tax is not included in here. So let's switch the sales tax for, to zero for a little bit. And now let's say you charge a 40% discount. Your sale price will now be four euros and 77 cents. And of that only 16% will now be your profit. You only have 80 cents per product in profit. You can play a little bit around with the discounts and see how it would influence your profit. And that is how the pricing calculator tab works. You can duplicate this tab as many times as you need it if you would like to keep a record of all the prices you have calculated for each single product, but you can also opt to decide to add your information to the multi-product tab. Now you can take this little overview section and add these prices into your multi-product calculator to keep a record of what you have calculated. So for example, we had one euros and 28 cents for material, one euros and 75 cents in labor costs and 0.95 cents for any other costs. So now we're going to add that to our multi-product calculator. So our first item was soap, it was SKU number one. The profit margin was 50% we wanted to charge. We can come back later to the discount and sales tax and see how this influenced our sales price and our profit back here. So we had one euro and 28 cents in material costs, 0.95 cents in other costs. And let me check, we had one euros and 75 cents in labor costs. As you can see that with a profit of 50% here, our sales price would be seven euros and 96 cents. Now we can also see if we add a discount here, that the discount would be 80 cents, our new profit would be three euros and 18 cents, and that our sale price would be seven euros and 16 cents. So you can add all your information here, but if you have any very easy to calculate products, so let's say you're creating a new soap bar and you know exactly that the material costs are two euros, you know it will take you one euro to create and that the other cost is the same as everything else so it will be one euro too. Now all you have to do is add in a profit margin here and you'll be able to see the exact sale price. You don't have to use a single product calculator for every single product. This depends and it is completely up to you and what works best for your business. And that is it. That's basically everything you need to know about the pricing calculator. If you have any questions about this spreadsheet or this tutorial I'll leave some contact information in the description down below so be sure to reach out to us. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.